Hey guys, I'm Mark and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this blurry glass effect in Affinity Photo. Don't forget to check out my other Affinity videos, I got more than 60 tutorials about Affinity Designer, Photo and Publisher. Alright, I got my picture here already, I just duplicate that and this copy at the top will be the one that we're going to modify to look like blurry glass. So let's simply open layer styles from here and apply a blur to it. We can move the slider left and right. It's not destructive, so don't worry about it right now. It can be like this, maybe in the middle. And now I can also add a color to it, white color, but we need to reduce opacity like this. Maybe 10%, 15%, something like that. All right, so here it is. Original and the blur version. And now I wanna put it into shape. So let's draw a shape. As you can see, we got many shapes to pick from. I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. We got rounded corners here. We can use this orange control point to control that. We can even change the style of the corner. As you can see, we got several different styles. Maybe like this will do. And again, you can just drag those orange points to change the range of that. All right, let's just put my copy, my duplicate of the picture with the blur on it inside this shape. So I simply drag and drop but I need to drop it inside that shape so it will become a child layer to this shape like this so you must be careful here not don't drop it above or below it must be inside it's maybe tricky when you're doing this for the first time like this inside and now I can see this blur version but only inside the shape area that's really cool take a look I got this blur version of the same picture, but it's inside the shape. I can still control this effect from here, so I can change the blur, I can even add more color to it. So I just modify in the picture, but I can also add more effects to the shape itself. So I can add inner glow to the shape, and also I will add a shadow to it. So we got separation from the original picture. So let's add out the shadow as well. All right, that's nice. A very classic blurry glass effect, just in three minutes. The downsides of this method is it's not very flexible. So if you wanna change the picture in the background, you will need to do it all over again. If you plan to use it as template, you're going to change the picture often I recommend you guys to simply use embedded layers, embedded files. I got a whole video about that. This way you can create some kind of placeholder and then you can change the image inside as you please. But for this tutorial we are almost done. But as you can see if I move it around I'm moving the whole thing. If I squeeze it I also destroying the image inside. So you can Take it out for a moment, this is like the quick fix, take it out and now I can make changes to the shape itself. Let's say I want to modify this shape. We can even change the style of the corner. Alright, let's rotate that and use the blur only on the half of this image. And now when I'm ready with this new shape, I can drag and drop this again inside and all of my effects are still on. So that was really quick. Just keep in mind, you can take this blur image from the shape, modify the shape and put it back in as a quick fix if you need to modify the whole effect. As I mentioned, you can go one step forward by using embedded files here and make it all more flexible and editable. 
Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to check my other tutorials. I got more than 60 tutorials about Affinity software right now. So I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.